Hi everyone! We took a week break from our Intrigued by the First Line series so I could align our Spirit Week more to the stories, but we're back. This time it's a chapter book, Holes, Lewis Saker, and are you intrigued by this first line? Let's see here. It is, which one is it? Which one is it here? <gasps> there is no lake at Camp Green Lake. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit in one of our beanbag chairs that was kindly donated to us from Donors Choose. This is comfy cozy. There's one, here's my other one. All right. Holes by Lewis Saker. This is not only an award winning book, it has also been turned into a movie. Dedicated to Sherry, Sherry Jessica, Lori, Kathleen, and Emmy, Emily, goodness, and to Judy Allen, a fifth grade teacher from whom we can all learn. Part one, you are entering Camp Green Lake. Okay, so readers, I'm going to read it to you. Use your imagination and visualize. See if the words paint a picture in your mind. There is no lake at Camp Green Lake. There once was a very large lake here, the largest lake in Texas. That was over a hundred years ago. Now it is just a dry, flat wasteland. There used to be a town of Green Lake as well. The town shriveled and dried up along with the lake and the people who lived there. During the summer, the daytime temperature hovers around 95 degrees in the shade if you can find any shade. There's not much shade in a big dry lake. The only trees are two old oaks on the eastern edge of the lake. A hammock is stretched between the two trees and a log cabin stands behind that. The campers are forbidden to lie in the hammock. It belongs to the warden. The warden owns the shade. Out on the lake, Rattlesnakes and scorpions find shade under rocks and in the holes dug by campers. Here's a good rule to remember about rattlesnakes and scorpions. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you, usually. Being bitten by a scorpion or even a rattlesnake is not the worst thing that can happen to you. You won't die, usually. Sometimes a camper will try to be bitten by a scorpion or even a small rattlesnake. Then he will get to spend a day or two recovering in his tent instead of having to dig a hole out on the lake. But you don't want to be bitten by a yellow spotted lizard. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. You will die a slow and painful death, always. If you get bitten by a yellow spotted lizard, lizard you might as well go into the shade of the oak trees and lie in the hammock. There is nothing anyone can do to you anymore. Ooh, this book is a little dark. Warden, that makes me think this story has something to do about a prison or a jail, because wardens are the people who are um, looking after the prisoners. <sighs> the campers digging holes and having to watch out for scorpions. Gosh, I want to keep reading. I wonder if you do. Now, you guys probably know where Texas is. All right, my hand keeps going on the thing, but I've got my fancy, fancy, fancy globe. Let's take a look. It's Africa, that parts of Africa definitely are hot. Oh, the United States. You guys, it doesn't even tell us, show us exactly where Texas is, but we see a little bit of the outline there. You guys know. Texas, California, if you want to travel there. I hope you get enjoyed the preview of Holes, and maybe you'll check it out and read it. Bye.